Welcome to Cosmic Circuits MIPI M5 demonstration video. Today we will demonstrate the performance of TX and RX of the M5 in TSMC 40 nanometer process. We will see a brief introduction of the MIPI validation setup. Juice is an FPGA based board which is used to control M5. The M5 test chip is mounted on the daughter board which is docked to Juice through high speed SAMTEC connectors. TX is tested using Agilent Oscilloscope 91304A and the RX is tested using JBET or the 812500A powered system. Juice is connected to PC through an USB interface. Juice, M5 and all the instruments connected to the setup can be remotely controlled from the PC. Juice can also be used to develop controllers such as Unipro and DJRF. It has a Spartan 6 FPGA LX152T, high speed SAMTEC connectors to dock the daughter board, JTAC interface for programming the FPGA, and DDR2 memories. We will see a brief introduction on the software. Foscare is a characterization tool developed by Cosmic Circuits using LabVIEW. All the instruments that are connected to the setup can be remotely controlled by the software. And all the tests that are required for M5 are also configured in Foscare. You can actually do those tests automatically from Foscare. Each test has the list of commands that are required to perform the test which can either be tested through the interactive mode or through the batch mode. See the actual M5 lab setup in Cosmic Circuits. So, this is the test hardware. On the left side you see the juice board. And this is the M5 daughter board with the socket. The TX output is connected to the oscilloscope through SMA cables. This is the 91340A oscilloscope. This is the JBIRT used to test RX. So the JBIRT output is connected to the RX input of the M5, which is looped back to the TX and the TX output is connected to the error detector input of the JBIRT. The juice is connected to PC through the USB cable. We will now see the performance of TX and RX in the lab. This is the FastCare setup for the M5 project. And the oscilloscope is connected through VNC. And the JBoot is connected through the remote interface. We will now configure the TX in G2B mode. The FastCare is configuring the M5 for G2B mode. As you see, it's driving the DFN now. We will source the CGT pad from Juice. We could also source CR pad. As you see now, the M5 is sourcing the CGT pad. This is the data, serial data output of M5. We will now configure the scope for eye test. So this is the mask for the G2B mode. As you see, we meet the mask very, very comfortably. The data rate is 2.912 GPVS, which is G2B mode.
we will configure the oscilloscope for the jitter test. So Pascal is configuring the oscilloscope for the jitter test. It is configured. Now the oscilloscope is waiting to collect 10 power 10 bits for the jitter test. So it has captured uh, all the data that is required. The TJ is 167 milli UI, DJ is 129, and RJ is about 3 milli UI. Again, we have lot of margin with respect to this peg. We will now see the RX performance. We will configure the device for the RX mode. We also have to set the loopback mode. So Fastcare is configuring JBoot as well as the M5 for the RX test. So the JBird is trying to synchronize. It still hasn't got the lock. As you see the fast is showing executing the test. So it is still waiting for the JBird to get the lock. Yes, now we have got the log. We will now add jitter and check the BER. So we already have an RJ of about 14 milli UI, just one sigma. We will now add uh, ESJ, the sinusoidal jitter. The spec is about 350 milli UI. So we have added 100 milli UI. BER is still good. 200 milli UI still good. 300 milli UI. No error still. 500 milli UI. Six hundred. No errors. 700, still there are no errors, 750 milli UI, again there are no errors, so we are way above the spec, we made the spec very very comfortably. Thanks a lot for watching this video, for more information please refer to www.cosmiccircuits.com, thank you.